What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Let's Play Hive Swap uh, Act 1 again, because I don't know how many times I've played this game. If you're here for my Hive Swap friends in Let's Play, glad to have you back. If not, glad to have you here. Uh, potential spoiler warning for the rest of this game, Homestuck proper, Friend Sim, Pester Quest, and some Homestuck fanfics. I forget what's fanfic and what's not sometimes. Uh, voice acting may be inconsistent. I'm not a voice actor, but I am trying my best. Today is part five, and we are continuing off from not Spain from ah yes we have just got the attic key. Let's turn down the music a little bit. And also the effect as I was uh, editing part four, like last night. Uh, I didn't realize that that thing made noise. I just never noticed it before. Oh, I forgot there's a cutscene. Uh, I've been putting these on the uh, video, the uh, video itself, but it's flashing light warning for the strifes. Oh no, uh... Oh, I don't remember how this fight goes. Oh, wait! That was actually- hey, wait. We've been knocked to the ground! Oh, now we have to be Jude. I'm gonna just adjust the window. Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You've got to find some way to distract those monsters until she get back on her feet. Like this gun. The answer is gun. Uh, and now we use the flashlight. Uh, excuse me. No excuses. Uh, let's save over here because it doesn't actually matter. He's so cute. Look at him go. Look at him trying to help. And then we will do it again. Hey, jerk. Knocked another one down. Delighted to see ya. And now we have to be... I might try to get the... There's one game over cutscene in this... What the fuck is that? I don't think we could look at that. One more time. Let's fire a gun. supposed to but <laughs> she's like what the fuck yeah I'm pretty sure if you try to switch to Jude gosh you hope Joey is okay you wonder how she's doing right now <laughs> and we fucking die <laughs> the one game over in the entire game. Uh, so if you didn't know that, there you go. Uh, basically I think it's if you take too long to get to the attic or yeah if you switch to Jude at that point, uh, Joey fucking dies. <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry, use the key! Fuck, I forgot! <laughs> and we've now lost the key. to pinch her cheeks. Joey, come in. Please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Jo Joey, please. Over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely. Phew, over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in attic than the rest of the house. Key can be trade later. Over. I think you were right. Are they smashed the living room window and the front door? 
Why is this not... It doesn't want to... There we go, I did it! If I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separate us with Vanguard, destabilize power, probe defenses, finally attempted entry through multiple points of, points of e ingress, basic siege checks is over. You actually know this stuff? I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I just... I kind of just thought you liked pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take a scalp a bit over. Anyway, thanks. So I'll just hole up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should, should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a game gamble. Always a gamble engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location. Ignore object under curtain over. I'm not gonna. Well, obviously I'm not gonna ignore it. Joey, please. What? It's a big, mysterious thing under a beguiling, flurry curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it, anyway? Data is insufficient to determine over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't take, take seriously happen over. You there? Just, just don't go oral. It's really bad. Over. Gee, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, I can't. Please don't go, go near portal. Over. Did you say portal? Oh, I'm actually gonna have to use my Alternian. I, fun fact, yeah, you've probably already seen the thumbnail because this video will be out by the time you're hearing it, but I made two sets of thumbnails. I made one for uh, Earth and I made one for Alternia. So I might actually do like a split design or something. What's this pile of hay? Another victim of Jude's overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets gonna go praying and jimmying, the kid just go nuts, goes nuts, so. Oh, that's the, not this pile of hay. Hey, that's irrelevant. Just the crowbars. Well, the world is in crisis. If only Captain Planet were here, then the monster could eat him and you could escape while they were distracted. You're going to look. Well, turns out you live in a house that has a hand in a jar in it. You must now carry this knowledge with you forever. Yeah, I wonder where he got that. Sometimes the shit that Jake has, I'm just like, where the fuck did you get that? Today, the role of water is played by vitamin water. Let's high five. You've left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross desiccated hand of the jar, you begin to suspect the time for you to break open this jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own life hand has tragically passed. Oh, it's a leg lamp. You put this in the attic yourself, because it weirded you out that your pa had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Little did you know, he'd soon graduate to lamps shaped like entire women. I actually never looked at the door. It's locked, and you are safely on this side. Thank goodness. Can we open? The door is locked, and you dropped the key. The key fell through the floorboards down into... Uh, you're not sure, actually. It's the, the closed part of the house. Haunt switch. When will we get haunt switch news? Or act three news? Even just a, hey, we're working on act three, it'd be fine. To look at this piece of paper. The handwriting is barely legible and there's no return address, leaving you with no more information than you had before you looked at it. Can we pick it up? And no. This really isn't that kind of mystery. The boring kind where you have to frequently refer to your regu regularly maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to go over here yet. There's still more to be done. Maybe to look. Pa's passion for previously a large artifacture has always given you the willies. What is up with him? Not only does he not respect the lives of the critters he shoots, he seems infatuated with the notion of death itself. What a twisted jerk. He's dying about, uh, probably about two years from this point, right? Let's consider mummy. You draw strings from the mummy's inassailable calmness. You are strong, you now, having considered the mummy at length. It's your 
gonna go ahead and stop considering the mummy. What about this gun? Look. Since he got his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to a thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, its favorite brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the pans of your paw. Lock and load? There is no chance you're going to pick up this gun and you certainly aren't going to lock and load it anytime soon. It's just not going to, just isn't going to happen. Is there anything? Oh, there's a Christmas tree. I guess they bust out a fake Christmas tree. Oh, her grandpa's just storing a Christmas tree up here for no fucking reason. It's the hand. Okay. Oh, that twitched. Oh, it twitches. Oh, that's gross. Look. <sighs> More of his guns. These are antiques, and it would probably fetch a tidy sum at an auction. But you think the only real perk to their antiquity is it probably means it's been ages since they were used to murder anything furry and precious. Can you look at this bear rug? You haven't been up here in a while. Your pa sure does keep a lot of weird crap up here. Where do the, the other crap that is? Or maybe not. Maybe all of his stupid crap is basically the same. There's the light lamp. I see, because that looks like Batman. This mask right here looks like Batman. I feel like all of these are references to something. Because that's just how Homestuck is, but I don't know what. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's some more guns. What about these masks? Let's look. Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they meet. What about a queer? Oh, okay. So look and wear are the same thing. Dumb. Um, I think that's all that's in this area. Oh, no. Oh, more guns. What are these bird cages? Some very old pigeon cages. You'd suggest they throw it out, but... Old cages definitely fits with the aesthetic up here. <laughs> Why does he love globes so much? Maybe they remind him of adventure. All the little abstract geological features, the jagged border of the exotic nations, the tiny bumps representing mountains. Unfortunately, whenever you look at globes in school or wherever, they just remind you of him. Oh, poor Joey. Can't study geography. Also, pretty sure he has some, like, uh, we'll read that in a second. Uh, pretty sure he has some, like, alien- does he- Does Grandpa have a Skya? Just saying. This is less creepy than the hyper-muscled horseman fountain in the yard, but that really isn't saying much. It's this little rocking horse. Globes. What, are, what the fuck is that? I'm not sure. Let's go to the uh, thing in the curtain. Cause that's where the game wants us to go. Oh, look at this cherub ass clock. I know there's one thing it wants me to look at, but I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Yeah, globes. Look. You can't really avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better see what's up there now, though, before it gets the drop on you. When to remove? It's really interesting. I love how both sides of the- Oh, wow, there's so many broken mirrors back here. Uh, the cherubs have eyelashes, which I think is fun. Uh, I can't remember if- I'm sure Caliborn had eyelashes and I just fucking forgot, but it's been a while since I've seen him. Look. The keyhole! It calls out to you in your mind. Wait, wait. Q. Key. You picture your heirloom. Key. You get it. Use it. Start it now. 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 Key. Mm. Key. Mm. Mm. Use keyhole. You, you, I feel like you should somehow, like you were always going to? It's, it's a difficult sensation to describe, even to yourself, but what goes in there? Probably this key. Oh, look. You have no idea what this is. 
You don't know where it came from or how long it's been here. Did you know about this? Is that why he really sent you to the attic? No, that it doesn't make any sense. He... Did your pa know? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. It feels different in your mind. At least you... Wait, wait, you... You're having trouble thinking clearly. Trouble keeping your train of thought. How... How long have you been standing here? Operate? You don't know how to operate this thing, except, of course, to put in a key and turn it. This seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known. And we're always going to do, and have always known. Do it, do it, do it, do it now, 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 the key. Do it, do it, open the door. I wonder if we're going to meet these chairs. I don't know if it's this, I don't know if it's a Caliborn and Calliope. I wonder if it's a different pair of cherubs. But yeah, let's use the key. That's what the game wants us to do. Now we're in a place we don't understand. We're gonna poke around a little bit. I think if we, so if we get to Zephyrus before the 25 minute, I'm gonna cut it there because uh, that way I can use my regular, uh, or not my regular, my Earth thumbnails. A busted up robot? It, it seems like something pretty intense went down here just before you arrived. It looks kind of like the thing from your attic that brought you here. The force field is a pretty striking point of con contrast, though. Maybe you could use this thing to get home? Somehow? Please? I do- okay, okay, let's- let's ha let's- everyone together, let's have an Alternian thought. And that Alternian thought is like a fucking love Alternian architecture. <laughs> Sorry, that's a car in the background. Uh, I love alternative architecture. I think it is so interesting. I think the fact that so many of these buildings were designed by teenagers is such a bizarre thing and like how there's still a sense of uh, uh, architectural unity probably because they're going based off of what they see other kids doing and how Damik has this giant ass house. How do you get this house? He has, he has more low blood rights than anyone else I've seen. Also, I think, yeah, we're almost at the 20 minute mark, so I'm just not going to pick up the tablet. We're going to poke around in here and then we'll call it quits there. So look, it's a futuristic forklift. It's probably what moved the giant crate here. Operate. You don't know how to drive this thing. It doesn't seem to be on anyway. The tablet it calls, but I'm not ready for that embarrassing conversation to happen. Some of the Zephyrus. Zephyrus. He's doing his best, but. Uh... Excuse me. Um, let's go over here. You pick up a hand drawn and scribbled diagram of the portal, showing how the pieces fit together. Oh, we have the. Can we go use it on there? Wow. Hmm. Ah, oh, this indeed does indeed seem to be a diagram of this portal. For all the good that does you, 
which is currently none at all. Uh, and this crate is full of goo. If you hid inside this crate, you'd think that you'd be nervous that it was somehow going to suddenly close up around you and you'd be left screeching in the dark in a slimy box somewhere impossibly far from your home. So you don't think you'll be hiding in the crate just now. There is so much- okay, Joey, I need you to face the other direction. There is so much goo in there! What made all that goo? Did the portal make that goo? Why is the portal leeching goo? Who knows? Uh, doors. I'm going to look. A futuristic looking door in a gloomy, futuristic looking bunker like place. Maybe all the answers are through here? Can we open? You have no idea how to open this thing. You don't even see it handle. If you had to guess, it looks like it's automatic. But the power seems to be off in here. You think? It's kind of hard to tell. What about this little... You're unsure of this weird thing's purpose. Maybe there's something around here that could help you make it go or whatever? What about this shaking door? You can hear awful slams and growls coming from the other side of this door. You aren't even going to try to open it. But he's just worried for his little rebel. What about this gun? It's another gun. This one looks a lot more sophisticated and deadly than your pause weaponry, which you left back in the attic. You think you'll leave this one where it is, too? Equipped? You don't think so. It looks kind of weird, but it's still plainly a gun. Uh, is that everything else in here? Yeah, forklift, the gun, all the weird pipes. He has so many bullets just everywhere. So, yeah, so let's, let's take a second, because we've got a couple minutes left before I want to say goodbye. And let's check out this portal, because, okay, okay, I'm sure we're going to find out more about it. But, you know. Oh, it says 11, 11, 11 on it. He. <laughs> I didn't see if the other one did, uh, but, because, yeah, the wings are a little bit more, they look like blades, honestly, and, yeah, it's got, like, a gear shape, and these are a lot smoother, these are a lot more wires in here, and, actually, interesting, these cherubs, or cherub snakes, don't have eyelashes. Weird. Oh, just a thought. Um... So technically we're only about 23 minutes, like I said, I'm going to, uh, the conversation that ensues is a little bit too long, and I have to start getting ready for work in about half an hour, and I want to eat something else first. Uh, so, that was act part five. I almost said act five. There is no act five, because this is a four-part series. Uh, that was part five. We're officially on Alternia, officially in a different universe, and in part six you will start seeing the new thumbnails. Uh, let's save. Oh, I love- and actually, okay, so so I think what it's gonna do- let's play save three. Because if you noticed, uh, in the very beginning when I started at part one, the lock screen, or the uh, main screen was Alternia, and then it switched to a nice sunny day when we got back to Earth. So let's see- oh, is the hint function still disabled? Sorry. It's lovely to see in my neighborhood, but I believe you have other demands on your time at the moment, as I always have on mine. Pretty sure the stock scratch. Whatever. Uh, start menu. Cancel. We'll save over the fact that we just looked at the hint menu. Uh, start menu. And yeah, we're back to the uh, main screen being Alternia. Actually, this is very similar to what my Zoom background is. Um, so I will see you next time. Uh, I don't have any news for you today. So I hope you have a good day. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Bye!